let's pick up where we left off folks I've got the uh, 36 AWG wire here loaded I've got the uh, form factor here attached I think I've got my uh, tension where it needs to be some uh, tape up here already pre-cut just for uh, stopping the windings taking a little break along the way I'm going to start at an extremely low RPM setting not uh, get too fast and just see if I can hit my uh, 90 rotations here between the uh, lane here that I created I want to try to stay in if all possible and uh, something else I'm going to do as well uh, this comes in real handy for dial strings uh, just to give them a little tacky feel but I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, power tack and apply it here on the uh, form factor which has a little bit of wax on it and uh, see if we can make this a little more tacky here to uh, grip the uh, 36 AWG wire so uh, let me give that a spray um, oh in addition I do have my uh, rotation set correctly to make sure that the uh, new coil that we wind here the primary is in phase with the uh, secondary We'll let this set up for uh, about a minute as well, just to get tacky. I did three passes here by hand, just to get a good start. And you can see the uh, blue line. That's my uh, indicator of uh, one rotation. Again, in this lane that you see between the uh, two strips of uh, tape, I'm just trying to hit 90 turns. Or close to that. This uh, doesn't have to be exact. So uh, I'm going to go extremely slow here. And... Uh, do a few rotations and just see how close I can get the uh, magnet wire to lay up against each other. Make any modifications, tweaks I need to on this uh, first wrap or do a do-over if needed before we get into uh, what I say 22 uh, layers here kind of back and forth. Alright, there's my uh, first layer here, roughly 90 turns, and again, I'm uh, manually counting, so I may be off just a bit, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Let me uh, spray the uh, coil down here one more time, and uh, we'll make the uh, pass going back in the opposite direction now. But you can see here, and I'll do a, a quick picture here, it uh, laid down pretty well. I got off track here just a little bit here toward the end, but for the most part, it fed its uh, way across. You'll see in the original construction and uh, a lot of methods and procedure, once I get to this first layer here, I would uh, wrap some thin paper or some tape. Um, I'm going to forego that because I'm still concerned about my ability to uh, wind the uh, coil as tight, even though I got really good results here on this first wrap. Um, I'll probably get some grouping, and I'm still concerned about being able to fit into that, uh, what I think it was a 19 millimeter window. So uh, I'm going to forego that and uh, just spray in between here some of the uh, power tack. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, be good and uh, just keep an eye on the wire. Of course we'll uh, check DC resistance when we're done. All right, let's head back the opposite direction now. Okay, I've got wrap two done here, and I'll show another close-up here. I did have a few gaps there in between. One uh, big modification I made to the uh, coil winder, and it's still far from uh, perfect here, is uh, I need... You know, to feed this uh, wire in here as close as possible, so a nice modification would be to put a guide closer here to the uh, receiving spool, uh, just to make this more accurate, especially for the uh, thin gauge uh, wire like this. After letting that set up, I'm going to go back this direction. And I'll come back and give an update once I get down to the uh, final turns. Okay, I think I counted correct, and I'm at the end of the uh, winding here. So uh, we'll uh, do some checks here momentarily, and uh, just see what we've got DC resistance-wise. Make sure I didn't create any problems. 
Okay guys, here's the completed output transformer. It came together uh, pretty well. I used uh, just about all the uh, laminates. It started getting so tight I was afraid that I was going to uh, damage the uh, windings. So I think I'm, uh, what, three shy of what was in there of the uh, E-pieces. So uh, not bad. It is what it is. So. Um, I checked DC resistance and I realized I made uh, one big boo-boo. I had the transformer setting up like this and when I was attaching my uh, lead dressings on I flipped the transformer over. So what should be the uh, primary is the secondary. So my uh, color coding um, looks like it's correct but it's not. So um, I goofed up that and I may go back and uh, you know, change it. Just uh, splice here, put some heat shrink on so I don't confuse myself in the future or if someone else in the uh, repair world ends up with this radio again. They don't uh, make a mistake. And you can see right now I'm just using a uh, tie wrap here at the bottom uh, to pull this to and I've uh, tried to clamp this tight in here to try to get that to um, stay together well and uh, cleaned up the uh, terminal strip here. I checked DC resistance earlier when I found my mistake uh, that I just spoke of. Let's uh, hook it up now in the moment of truth and see how close we are to that 44 to 1 ratio. See if we're north or south of that number, but uh, you know, if we're a few points away, no big deal. All right, I'm going to get myself confused here with the uh, boo-boo that I made. But this is the uh, primary here. So uh, we'll hook up here. And here. And uh, we'll measure the uh, AC voltage like we did before. And again, this is just my uh, input from the uh, audio signal generator. Generating the tone at about 600 uh, cycles per second. Flip it on, and all I want to do is uh, bring this uh, multimeter up to uh, 0 0.10, and once we get to that point, we'll just uh, hook up here on the uh, input side under load and measure the uh, voltage there and multiply it times 10, and that will be our turns ratio. Alrighty, not the uh, highest quality audio signal generator I've got, but that's uh, somewhat stable. So uh, let's disconnect here and just move the uh, leads here on this side. Alright, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. 47.1 would be our turns ratio. Again, since our uh, denominator was uh, 0 0.10, uh, we can just uh, simply multiply this number times 10. So not bad, 46.947. So um, that's going to work, I think, just fine as well. If I had been under or just a little north of the uh, turns ratio that I was shooting for, that 44 to 1, but we should be great here. Okay, folks, I appreciate you watching. I'll probably go back and uh, correct my mistake here that I made and uh, splice the wires. I hate that, but, uh, you know, stuff happens.